I quit. And if this were a YouTube video, I should have made a video about it. And you would do I, and in capital letters, quit. Q-U-I-T, why I quit. <laughs> I've seen videos where people say why I quit, and um, they didn't even quit. It's, they, they talked about why they might quit, or why somebody like them might have quitted, or why they thought about quitting, but they didn't quit. Are there things, Gordon Lang, that other YouTubers do that you don't think that you would ever, or you tend not to do? Unboxing. First of all, as a word, I hate that word. Unboxing. How can you... That's like, I, now I tell you what, this goes back to that song, Unbreak My Heart, which at the time I thought, <laughs> that's not even a word. <laughs> How do you mean, unbreak my heart? How about, make me feel better, cheer me up, please. Unbreak my heart, unbox my camera. And that is why I gave up YouTube for three years, which, is, which really confused the algorithm, wow. because I was pouring my heart into these technical reviews, right? Look, testing every aspect of a camera and trying to get that across to people. And then some kid doing an unboxing video gets more views, and all he's done is filmed him opening a box. He doesn't even test the camera or turn it on. He just opens the box. And they were getting more views, and I was, bewildered by this. I just couldn't understand why this was more popular. And it put me off so much. I thought this, this, I kind of came to terms that that's what people wanted to see, or that's what people wanted to watch on that platform. And that I wasn't right for that platform. I was just some crusty old dinosaur. So I gave up. And I went back to purely written content for three years. Wow. It didn't close the channel, obviously. I left it there because it was hosting my videos that were also part of my written content. But I got in a right strop over it and it was unboxing that did it. And I still to this day would not. Now, I, I love opening boxes and some of the packaging and some things, you know, like Apple products and or some high-end consumer products. It's nice. It's nice packaging. They put some thought into it. It's cool. But I guess what they're doing is a review of the packaging. If I look at it that way, then it's more acceptable to me. I think it might just be the word unbox that I have a thing about. You've That's done brilliant. an unboxing video. Oh, yeah, I've done lots. I unboxed a uh, Chinese takeaway. Uh, from from Waitrose. You unboxed one of my T-shirts. I did. <laughs> in a in a blatant attempt to get some coverage from someone else. Not at if all, I, not if at I, all. <laughs> it was it was to test what merch is like. Of course but, it was. But it did have the benefit of of plugging you to my twelve subscribers at the time that then went and down. To it didn't, and it didn't um, get cold in the video featured by BBC News at 6 p.m. on BBC One. What is the hardest part of running a YouTube channel? I think the expectations that you have for its performance not being met and feeling disheartened by the fact that you've put this work into something that you think should be doing better and it doesn't. It's what affects artists of all, you know, Van Gogh was frustrated that he wasn't getting enough attention. We're all the same. I'm not the same as Van Gogh, obviously, but everyone is. Everyone thinks they're better than they are, maybe, or that they're not being recognised for something. Um, frustrated that, yeah, maybe I'm not as good as I think I am, or that, I, you know, that, that you, you want the videos to do better. You think they deserve better. And they're not doing as well as you think. And then you see someone else who's done the similar video, similar subject, and theirs is doing way better than yours. And you think, that's just not fair. Why is that doing better than mine? And then you look at it and you beat yourself up over, you know, is it is it your presentation? Is it the thing they covered? Is it, you know, is it because they've somehow got more followers so they're getting, you know, they're being recommended more? You don't know what it is, but it's that's probably the hardest thing for me of all. And um, you've got to kind of stop looking at it, stop looking at like, well, you can't help it. You do look at the number of views you've had. And it does, you know, if you consistently get poor views and you're seeing other people doing way better than you, it can put you off long term. And it did put me off. Like I say, I quit. I quit. And if this were a YouTube video, I should have made a video about it. And I, you would do I, and in capital letters, quit. Q-U-I-T, why I quit. <laughs> I've seen videos where people say why I quit and um, they didn't even quit. 
it's they they talked about why they might quit or why somebody like them might have quitted or why they thought about quitting but they didn't quit i have however started to use capitals in some of my titles to shout to shout for that last bit of attention please watch or i'll quit good and lang from camera labs thank you so much you've been so generous with your time and literally your gigabytes because I think, you know, we're going to have to stitch this together now, which is going to involve a massive transfer. This so video will never for... see the light of day because we've cut, we won't be able to get the file to you. <laughs> it's true. And then Zoom will delete it. But before we go, can you pick a favourite video idea that you haven't yet made? Unboxing. And you would like to make one? I think I should. What if it does really well? Maybe this should all be unboxing from now on. Who doesn't like origami? Boxes are nice. And they've put me in a box. You see, they pigeonholed me in a box. So why don't I talk about boxes? That'll show them. Good, the grand reveal. Revealed in capitals. Why I quit unboxing. <laughs> this is gold. If you reach it to the end of this video, this, this is the gold. This is what you pay for. Uh, Gordon, thanks so much. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Should we just sit here awkwardly in this two shot? And How are you going to do this? Are you going to... No, this isn't I... cinematic enough. Let's do it in wide yeah, screen. Right. Like in Abba the movie. Do you remember that? Let's do it in <laughs> wide screen. <laughs> and please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more great British YouTubers. There's a playlist and a podcast. All the details and links are in the description. I'm Neil Mossy and I'll see you on the very next episode of Great British YouTubers. Do you want a series of reactions now? I think Did you I... used to have to do that on the TV? They used to ask me to do that. They'd go, can you do one more? You go. They say, no, now sarcastic. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> Incredulous. <laughs> Angry. Those are all thumbnail pictures as well. That's I the... know. That's what you do at the end of the video. You record your thumbnail, but I, I want some text. And, and the, so you have to position yourself <laughs> to one side so you can put the text here. Why I quit unboxing. Oh my goodness.